All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mommy Flying Trapeze. I'm your host, The Skipper, for another session. Now, today was supposed to be a bigger class, but now it's because it was supposed to rain. But look at this. Come on. Beautiful day in paradise. No rain. But anyway, here we are. So we have one new student. She's never done this before. We'll tell you her story as we go. Let's introduce her. Here she is. Tell us your name again. Hi, I'm Alani. There's Alani. And of course, you know Mama Bird. Remember, if you do like what you see, hit the like uh, button, subscribe you know, comment, all that jazz. If you are visiting Miami, remember we have a room for rent. Check the description, uh, the links in the description below. Let's get started. All I really take is a little taste. Alan girl, blue eyes with a low bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy. All right, so here we are. Welcome back. I'm here in the studio. Quick announcements. Remember, if you need a place to stay when you're in Miami, we do have a room available. Check out the links below. And don't forget about Mama Bird has a link for the kitties if you want to uh, donate and help out with our 44 uh, rescues. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna do things a little bit different. Now you're gonna see everything at 100%. Normally I've been doing it at 75% speed you're gonna see it at 100 speed it comes at you very fast and then I'll, I'll pause and i'll slow down where it needs to be and also you're gonna see a camera on me let's check it out all right up, ladies. no problem so stay right there look at the bar wait 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 speak to the bar under and then over put the back of the knees you gotta make sure they're nice and comfortable back there good hands off arch your back look behind you very good. Grab the bar here and feet down here. Excellent. Feet together behind you. Take them forward. Now we're going to do it one more time. We'll do it one more time. Ready? Take them forward. Backwards. Forward. Let go. Grab your knees. Open. So very good. That was Alani's first time ever doing the flying trapeze. She did almost everything on time. She let go a little bit late there, but well done, Alani. Uh, let's continue on with Mama Bird. She's going to be doing her uh, swings. Mama Bird, look how far left you are on the board when you take off. Use that lean-out rope, and that will help you out a lot. The lean-out rope should be right here. <laughs> All right, and I'll try to see if that actually makes the video, if I can cut it in. So, yeah. There she comes. Let's see how she bounces in the net. And it's still bouncing a little bit left. I can let I can lift that left spreader so we can bounce a little easier. Alright, legs up, hook knees. Good. Alright, stay right there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, ready, hands off. Arch your back, look behind you. There it is. Good. Alright, grab the bar here. And feet back down here. That's trick number one. Here we go for trick number two. Take your feet forward, backwards, forward, let go. Grab your knees, open. <laughs> all right so there she goes again uh again she ended up a little bit uh back because let go late but very good job i think from there she's gonna move on to a new trick so here i go <clears throat> i'm just gonna be warming up i do what is called kill and build uh now i am trying to ease into it so i'm doing TikToks to lower my swing i only do it twice i'm not trying to get super super low Let's see, I think I'll do it again. No, there I am. You can see how I'm pulling up to build it back up and pay attention to where my height is and watch how I build it and build it and build it and see how I'm getting higher in the back there. And then I pull it up and I'm probably doing about 75, 80% here because I'm not trying to overdo it. Again, remember trapeze hands. So I'm not trying to uh, overdo it. Mama bird, you turned, took off to the left a, a little bit again. See how you're coming back to the left? Use the lean out rope. <clears throat> lean out rope is going to be right here, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get that in, in film. But I'm gonna I'm gonna play with my editing magic um, as I go learning. I'm getting, I'm getting better at the editing, getting better at the multi-camera setup and how to sync everything together. I am, I am using old cameras, they're a little frustrating, but it's doable. Well done, Mom Bird, not bad. All right, so here I go again. I think I'm going to be doing what's called uprises. So not a lot of power and uprise right there. So here I gotta get used to this because I'm doing it on the back end, which is back here, right? I wanna do it on the front end. And when Joe gets back, I'm gonna uh, do it with him. It helps to see somebody else do it. But I need to get more comfortable with this and start doing my forward overs again. Uh, and I do it from time to time. If I wanted to do it, I could do it. Again, I'm not trying to overtrain. Uh, really just want to enjoy my experience and slowly lose some weight, get fit. Again, 
chances of me being a flyer are exceptionally rare uh, or small, I should say. I am a catcher. I'm just big and that's what catching is. So I went for a double barrel roll there. I got, uh, I got through one. I was like, I don't have enough time. So I kind of just opened up. All right, let's watch Alani. Uh, got to commit to that, Alani. You got it. Yep. So right there where you saw Alani went too early. So you have to wait until your instructor says legs up because they've done this a million times. This is only her third time ever doing it. So when you do it for the first time, if you decide to take a flying trapeze class and you have to uh, hook your knees or get your feet up, wait for the instructor because right when you hit peak, that's kind of when your legs want to whip up and your instructor will tell you legs up there. Wait, wait now. All right, and keep those feet together when All they go right. up. Report. Hands off. Good. And don't forget to point those toes. You're in the circus now, Lonnie. And you can see how fast it comes at you. All right, so let's see. Let's watch Mom Bird again. Mom Bird always taking off to the left, and that's because she's not using the lean-out rope. And I'll try to remind her next time I, uh, next time we train, use the lean-out rope because these risers are far back compared to how close the board is. I would either have to make new risers, uh, which is not out of uh, the realm of possibilities. If I have the time to do it, I'll do it. Or use the lean-out rope. Well, let's just use the lean-out rope until I make new risers. All right, so here I'm showing a two-position pike whip. And like I said, when I show a two-position pike whip, since they're already used to hooking their knees, I just say first position is knee hang. Now, it does come at you fast. And uh, this is, believe it or not, this is the first time I ever do a pike whip, ever. I teach it, but I've never done one. And here, yep. <laughs> I was going, I my legs, I let my feet rise up too much. So I was going towards the head, so I just, right, instead of half turning. Now, for those of you who are doing this for the first time, don't leave your arms back. You want to protect yourself, Superman. Get your arms in front of you. I did my best to hold her up. I wasn't expecting that just yet, but it doesn't matter. So I asked her if she rug burned. She was not at all. Good. So when you do it, keep your head up and hands in front of you as if you were going to the catch. Superman down. So let's see how she does on this all one. All right, legs up, hook your knees. All right, no problem. Look at the bar. Wait, 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 Again, I'm a big, big, big uh, takeoff from the left. And I think she, Mama Bird's used to it now because she she's able to get uh, into the middle again. But she needs to take off and compensate to the right. Let's see how the net is bouncing. So it's still bouncing her a little left, which means I gotta raise that side. And it's not much, it's maybe an inch and a half that I'll raise it. All right. Let's see what I do here. All right, so you can see there, very, <clears throat> very early release. Look at the bar keeps going up. So the energy's there because I'm, you'll see that I'll stay above the bar, but look how much I travel. And my feet, when I let go, look where they're at. I'm letting go here. Look at my feet are uh, positioned. I wanna see if I get this. I think it's positioned diagonally this way. Diagonally this way. And it needs to be, uh, over the bar and yeah it's just not working out for me I need to change something up and then let's see what I do here oh yeah I went for the double barrel roll kind of gave up on it but it's still completed very nice yeah my, the layouts are there I'm really struggling with it catching I feel like a phenom I feel like it's just easy uh, I feel incredibly confident but as a flyer, man, uh, it's humbling. 
because I cannot fly. I get the technique. I know how to teach it. All my students throw better uh, layouts than I do. The only thing I have more than them is power, but it doesn't matter. They're still getting, they still have better technique and better awareness. It's very frustrating. So I put on the belt and then my buddy John, who was visiting uh, from Vegas, um, he actually sold me one of the rigs that I have here in the, in the trailer. And let's see. So he's giving me pointers and his, his um, based on everything that he's seen. So there, my hips are barely, uh, barely, barely behind my shoulders. So he was like, dude, you don't, you don't have the shoulders that these pros have. You started late in life and you got these big, strong muscles. You're this big, wide guy. You're, you don't have the shoulders, so you have to break much later. And I'm like, you know what? I like that because look where I'm breaking before pulls, right? And he was like, break way after pulls. And that should give you the time that you need. And even with all that, look where my feet are. Even with all of that, my feet should be more in front of me, almost like a pike. And then I open up after I release because the bar kind of still wants to go up. So the power is there and look at the rotation. And I can catch that all day uh, or get that caught all day, especially on this rig, but it's not the right technique. So anyway, he was like, break way later. That way you get your whip up on time. So I do try that here a little bit. No, I don't break later. I was trying what I was thinking of, of um, bringing my feet in and let's see how it does it. So there you can see the feet come in, but look, I let go of the bar and the bar just phew, went up significantly more, which means I let go early. And yet I kick the bar because uh, that's actually the perfect position, but I kicked the bar because I didn't go up and it's almost like I sent the bar. I did whatever, what uh, a few others do. When I let go, look, okay, I just let go and look how the bar just shoots up. So I had more to give. I let go early, but because I brought my feet in, I didn't travel it, but I didn't go up. And that's my biggest struggle. So here I do kick the bar. <laughs> there was an audible thing. <laughs> Luckily, now I've kicked the bar so hard where I thought I broke my foot and I didn't. Uh, I've got really, really hard bones, which goes contributes to the weight. But the whole thing is, um, I kicked it, but it didn't hurt, uh, luckily, because I've kicked the bar so hard before. Oh, man. All right, let's watch Mama Bird. She's trying to take off to the right. I see that, but not quite. So, uh, Johnny, uh, Johnny Ringo, Johnny uh, Johnny Vegas there. He uh, gave her some pointers, and she felt she could, you know, she felt pretty good. She felt better. As you can see, I'm already uh, daisy chaining uh, the ropes. I'm done for the day. I do believe this is our last clip. Let's see where she bounces. She is still bouncing left, so of course I haven't touched the spreader. But the spreader does have to go up at least one more. Let's make sure that is a play. The spreader does have to go up at least another inch and a half, which is just another block of wood. Normally, uh, for the other net, I had to lower it an inch and a half. So on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up. And lowering is easy because you just dig a little hole in the ground and put a block down there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this session. Uh, they are gonna start being, I think I'm gonna try this format where it's 100% uh, speed. And I do like the camera on me when I'm pulling lines because that could be really cool so you can see more of what's going on. And yeah, comment down below what you think of the uh, Western look and the Wild West look, and also what you think of this new format. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me. If you made it this far, awesome. And oh, here is your daily dose of cuteness. See you tomorrow.